Hey guys, Spartan117GW, and today we're going to be talking about patches, particularly patch displays and stuff like that. Now this is about two-thirds of my patch collection. There's actually more down there that you can't see, and others kind of spread around my gear and bags and stuff, but I, yeah, I, you, you get a lot of patches if you're in the airsoft world, shooting firearms at a tree. You accumulate a lot, uh, especially if you have a lot of friends. Um, I have the 60 inch um, LBX tactical patch wall or loop wall here. Uh, what I love about this particular setup is that you can mount it in a lot of different ways. There's four three quarter inch grommets at each of the corners. Um, my room is actually designed to have uh, paintings up on the wall and so you can move them around and stuff so it's, it's kind of odd but um, it actually came in handy because I was able to hook up this uh, loop wall and it's making a really great display uh, but what's also cool is it's got this um, center you know velcro loop thing there so you can also hook it on to like poles and other things so when you're going to events and stuff it gives you a nice really organized way to display all your patches um, but as you can see there's a ton of them up there um, if you have a lot of patches you know, you know sometimes it's an investment but I really really suggest you get something like this some kind of patch, you know, organizing book, you know, Millspec Monkey makes a little great book, High Speed Gear also makes a nice patch wall, um, I think OC Tactical or something like that makes, you know, a nice little smaller patch wall, but um, there's a lot of great options out there. You can also get kind of Velcro um, adaptable materials, stuff that Velcro will stick to. I mean, I've even seen put the people put patches on the inside of their car and stuff like that. Uh, but there's a lot of great things you can do, and it's really going to help prolong the life of your patches. Obviously, your PVC patches will tend to last a little bit longer, but particularly for the cloth ones, um, you know, like the Medal of Honor ones, or uh, you know, ones in general that um, maybe you only got them once, and you know, they're they still have you know they're still cloth or uh, fabric, so you really don't want to damage them or anything, and just kind of throwing them in a you know bundle or whatever and stacking them together that's a really quick way to destroy the patches but this is a really nice setup i highly suggest you get something like this like i said again this is the 60 inch loop wall from lbx tactical um i've actually seen this one set up in a bunch of different ways and hung up on like doors and stuff like that too so you can get kind of creative but i highly suggest it uh, especially if you have as many patches as I do. For a while, I just had them in a bag, and it was just like, man, what am I gonna do? There's just so many of these things; they're all sticking to each other. It gets really cr uh, crazy, confusing, and it's, you know, you you have those one-offs or those ones you only got like one or two of that you really want to take care of. Uh, but going on to the next segment, I'm actually gonna go over some of my favorite patches in the collection. All right, so real quick, we're gonna go over some of my key picks just a couple couple picks out of my vast collection that weren't on the wall uh, these are the, some of the ones that I kind of take me uh, take with me wherever I go because I just love these patches the first one is a second commando regiment uh, patch from Australia a buddy of mine who was in JSOC while I was at Fort Bragg um, took a little tri trip down there did some training and came back with one of these um, I was very very gracious because I mean these uh, you don't get very many of these um, there's a, a couple different uh, patches out there I'm not 100% sure if Platac makes a couple second commando regiment patches, but these are definitely really legit, very hard to find, especially in the United States. Uh, definitely a great one for the collection. Always a popular one, the Keep Calm and Return Fire. Uh, pretty much there's only two people, but particularly one that you'll ever get them from uh, is uh, either Mojo Tactical or particularly Soldier Systems Air Graves. If you guys don't know about Soldier Systems, it is the daily blog for the tactical guy, really. Um, it's It has the most up-to-date and pretty much most tip-of-the-spear information for guys who are following information about gear. Eric Gray is a really, uh, really great guy. I might get a chance to meet him again this week. Uh, but yeah, I've seen him at a couple different trade shows, a couple of different events. He's even came out to Balhack because um, he lives kind of, you know, out towards that area. And, you know, I got a chance to talk to him uh, quite a few times. But he's a really great guy. If you guys don't read Soldier Systems, Make sure you guys check it out. Love this patch. This one, it's pretty cool. It's pretty obvious why, because it says damn operator on it. But what's really awesome is that you can only get this if you uh, go through a damn or direct action mission um, through American Milsim. Um, there's a lot of great events. They have a lot of great events throughout the year. If you're really looking to upgrade your game and you haven't really gone to a Milsim event, American Milsim is the one. It was the first uh, Milsim event that I went to, I think it was Blue Gray, and the second one was Faded Giant, third one was Broken Home. A really great bunch of guys who run American Milsim, and they do some really awesome patches, but this one, definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to be keeping this one for a long, long time. 
You may notice a couple interesting patches up on my wall that kind of have a little bit more of a reflective look. These are custom IR patches from Kotak. I've actually done a video on them before, but if you want to get some, they're a little on the price side, but you can get quite, I mean, the customization is pretty crazy with getting your own IR flash with like your call sign, and little mini flags here or there, all kinds of stuff. Um, a lot of people in the shooting industry actually use these, so these are pretty legit. So make sure you guys check them out. Now I've got a couple different Hotak patches, but this one I like a lot because it's kind of got that MLG look. If you guys don't know about Hotak, uh, Hotak is Andrew, Andrew Ho, uh, part of the AEX um, you know, group of guys who founded and who's been running AEX pretty much since it's been formed. But really cool patches, uh, really funny guy too, so make sure you guys check him out. Uh, Hotak or Hotactical, definitely a really cool way to go. This one, you guys should have no problem uh, recognizing this. This is Milsim Junkies patch. Only a few people have them, and pretty much the only way you're gonna get them is if you meet them. Uh, definitely one of my favorite patches in my collection. Really great guy. Make sure you guys check, his check out his channel. More than likely, you guys already watch his channel, but he makes some really good stuff. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Breach Bang Clear, these guys are legit. They do reviews and stuff, but they're kind of, um, it's hard to say that they do some really, like, kind of, awesome articles and stuff in, in the shooting community. I mean, these guys are hilarious. They got a really great sense of humor. It's kind of like a hybrid, like written version of action figure therapy with like gear reviews. It's it's really cool. I love their, their humor and their comedy. <laughs> Man, some of, the, some of the articles that I put up on there and like some of the stuff that Dave and um, Nate write, um, really funny guys. If you guys ever remember that picture of me on Breach Bang Clear that was like, oh, all the stuff is out of sale because of this airsoft guy. Well, they, yeah, they were making fun of me, but through that, I became really good friends with them. They're a really great bunch of guys. I met them at SHOT Show, and that's how I got this I Got Banged at SHOT Show patch that you can only get from meeting those guys. Really great bunch of guys. Make sure you guys check out Breach Bang Clear. A lot of good articles on there, a lot of good reads, so make sure you guys check it out. Team Wendy. Now, I've actually got a couple different Team Wendy patches. I particularly like this one because, because of the color scheme, but Team Wendy does in my opinion, some of the best helmet designs and some of the best upgrades that I've seen in a long time, particularly in the comfort factor. I mean, helmets have always been kind of this love-hate relationship because one, it's protecting your head, but at the same time, most helmets just aren't really super, super comfortable. Team Winnie helmets kind of really break that mold with making something that has great trauma protection, but also feels really comfortable while you wear it. But great bunch of guys um, and uh, really excited for their ballistic. The Desert Fox. Before he was the number one uh, airsoft guy in the United States and perhaps the world, um, I actually, uh, you know, I got this one from him at Tim vs. Bob 4 before he was kind of still like a, a, little, a little, like lesser known player. Uh, but definitely a really cool guy, really good videos, and you know, I always loved his uh, patch design. It was just kind of cool, nice little yellow patch, but uh, definitely check out his channel. More than likely you guys watch it, but he does a lot of good videos and he's a really funny guy. So make sure you guys check him out. Not to be confused with Breach Bang Clear, Breach and Clear is a mobile app game. Um, probably one of the more sought after patches for guys in the Milsim community uh, because one of the guys who works on the project is from the Milsim community. But uh, really cool patches, I love how simple it is, but it just has this simple but to be desired aesthetic about them. Really great mobile game and it's really fun, I mean you basically you clear rooms and stuff with some of your favorite special operations units. Really good game, a lot of fun, and it's pretty affordable too. All right, next, Warfighter Airsoft, really good organization. Um, I helped kind of get them get their boots off the ground. Um, you know, they had a little bit of a rough start, but overall, really great bunch of guys. Chris Bass, the guy who runs it, also known as Call Sign Call Hollywood. Make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel. There's a lot of really great videos, really funny guy. Um, you know, he's one of the guys that I always talk to when I need advice and stuff like that. He's a really, really, really sound guy. And, uh, you know, he does a lot of good stuff. He's a Marine Corps infantry guy, so, Definitely solid when it comes to tactics and weapons. The guy knows his stuff. Uh, but overall, really cool patch too. I always love the design of this patch. Uh, really great organization. They help veterans kind of cope with PTSD through Airsoft because Airsoft really is kind of like a, a natural kind of bridge between going from the military to being a civilian. And even, even when you are a civilian, it still gives you that little bit of military fix. Um, so it's really great um, in case you guys didn't know about it. Now this patch, while it may look just like any other Atlas patch out there, this is the one that I got at E3 in 2012, pretty much when it was like brand spanking new and like the game was 
not even released yet. Uh, but uh, this one, it's always been a lot to me. It's a really great patch. It was, you know, a really awesome event. And I just, it was just, I was so happy to get this thing. Um, but um, if you guys don't know, whole lineup of Medal of Honor patches are available at LBX. Um, but, you know, there's some of my favorite patches out there. One, because of the simplicity of the design, the size, the shape, um, and kind of the uniqueness in how they use the, the artwork and, uh, you know, the different groups and the different, you know, organizations that are involved in Medal of Honor. So, really great patches. Um, but, yeah, this one is definitely my favorite of the bunch. Now, going along with those patches, this one's really cool. Um, this is H-Hour World's Elite, developed by Soft Studios out in Southern Pines, right outside Fort Bragg. Has a couple of uh, special operations guys that uh, guys that are, live in Southern Pines that help uh, with this game. Really great bunch of guys. I, I always love the design of the patch. It just has, you know, the, a little bit of the shield, a little bit of the, kind of the reverse scroll on here. But really great bunch of guys. Make sure you guys check them out. Soft Studios, H-Hour World's Elite. Now this patch, everyone always asks me where I get this patch. Uh, I believe this one is made by Orca Industries. It's a really, really cool patch. I love how simple it is, but it has that almost like military simplicity that you see like some of the Marine Corps patches on the front that, um, that they wear on the front. Of course, you can actually get that one in that same tan color too, but um, I actually wear this on the, um, the one of my left shoulder flag side now just because um, it kind of has a flag on here already. And it's a really cool patch and I just like how it looks. Now, Orca Industries makes tons of patches. There's actually quite a few of them on here, including uh, the Boba Fett one, you got the Gamma one. Uh, I got a couple of uh, these patches right here. You can't really get these anymore if they're out there, pick them up. Uh, but they have all these new teddy bear patches out there that are really cool. They got like Fireman, like the Soldier, Cop, Spartan. They got all kinds of stuff out there. So make sure you guys check out Orca Industries. Lots of really cool patches out there, um, I believe. He he makes, oh, he also makes the Yoro or the YOLO one. That one is pretty dang sick, so make sure you guys check it out. Last but not least, uh, I was really lucky. You know, it's funny, there's a lot of Ghost Recon patches in Airsoft, but how many of them are the official one directly from Ubisoft or Red Storm Entertainment? Uh, this is the one I got from a good buddy of mine. Uh, helped, to help them out, sent some stuff in. Um, so, you know, hopefully we'll see what happens. But, uh... Yeah, uh, they sent this in a care package, and I was just super excited because I really wasn't expecting to get like anything. And I was just like, "Hey, I'll help you guys out," and then um, ended up getting this in the mail. But it's just cool because you know, like I said, there's so many fake Ghost Recon patches out there, but how many real ones are there? You know, how many of the legit, like straight from the company official ones are there out there? I also like the size too. Most of the Ghost Recon patches out there are like huge but um this one really good size um also there was also a tan one that i gave to my boss uh but i kept this one you know i love ghost recon i lo always love the franchise um you know i kind of wish they took a couple different directions kind of went more the open source sandbox kind of route a little bit more like the original but we'll see what happens in the next game uh, definitely a big fan though but more or less that's kind of the last one i'm going to highlight but as you can see there's a lot of cool different ways to organize, um, you know, patch collection. I gave you a little insight in some of the ones that I particularly like, but, um, you know, taking care of those special patches, uh, you know, definitely important. Making sure you kind of, you know, you know, take care of your collection. You know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, no matter what you're collecting, you really want to make sure it's going to last. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys don't have a patch wall, like I said, there's a lot of great options out there between patch books, you know, the pa panels that HSGI or LBX make. Make sure you guys pick one of those up and take care of your swag. So I'll see you guys next time. Spartan 117GW out. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.